A student pilot and a flight instructor were practicing instrument approaches and were on the final phase of their landing. That's when the engine of the aircraft died down. The uh, pilot tried to restart the engine but nothing happened. He tried to switch the fuel tanks but nothing positive came out. That's when the flight instructor took control of the aircraft that was Beach V35B and from the pilot receiving instruction and he finally made a forced landing on a corn field near Sioux Fall SD. The airplane sustained considerable damage to both the wings. The aircraft was finally recovered from the field and upon investigation it was found that there was only one cup of fuel in the right fuel tank while on the left fuel tank there was still three-fourth full the left fuel tank was still three-fourth full now the engine was functioning properly as in when the functionality test was done on it for around 10 minutes on the airframe and no anomalies were found the pilot reported that he did not check the wing fuel tanks during pre-flight and he relied on the cockpit fuel gauges for fuel quantity so what was the probable cause of the failure the main cause of the failure was the pilot's inadequate management of the available fuel supply that resulted in fuel starvation and a complete loss of the engine power. Here the flight instructor is also partly to be blamed for the accident as he did not properly check, maintain a proper check on the fuel levels during the flight. So the NTSB identification for this accident is CEN16CA364. My dear friends, this report, accident report, is detailed to help student pilots and all the aviators to help them to learn from the misfortunes of others. Happy landings.